I am the Pika, founder of PatternReview.com, an online sewing community I started about 11 years ago. Um, the reason I started sewing is because I love to create things and I love clothes. So it was only natural that um, I decided to teach myself how to sew. The simple thrill of taking something two-dimensional and creating it into something fluid, which moves with you, and adding your own personality to it is still something which I look forward to in every single project I make. It doesn't have to be complicated or difficult. You can get started very quickly. All you need is a few basic tools, um, a basic sewing machine, for some fabric, a pattern, and your creativity. And more important than anything is just the willingness to learn um, that the excitement, the thrill, and just the, you know, just, just that enthusiasm, which I feel I hope to be able to share it with you. So I hope you'll join me in learning how to sew. The simplest form, sewing basically means just joining two pieces of fabric together with a needle and thread. Um, that's called hand sewing. If you do this on the machine, it's called machine sewing or stitching. In this class, we'll, I'll take you from start to finish. We'll talk about um, some tools, basic tools you'll need. We'll talk about um, a little bit, I'll give you a little bit of a primer on choosing a sewing machine and some of the features of a sewing machine. Then we'll talk about fabric, how to choose the best fabric for your first project. We'll also go into depth on how to use patterns. Um, and you can see there are like a variety of patterns available to us these days. But if you are new to sewing, it can get a little overwhelming looking at all those symbols, what they mean. So I'm going to try to demystify that for you. We'll take a pattern. We'll also learn how to measure ourselves to pick out um, the size which works for us. We'll then, using that size on the back of the pattern envelope, we'll pick out, um, we'll trace out that size onto this tracing paper. I'll show you how to cut it down to fabric and finally how to make your first elastic waist skirt. In order to determine what size you are in a pattern, you'll need to take your body measurements. I'm demonstrating today on the dress form here, but you'll obviously measure yourself. So let me turn the dress form around and you can see they're typically like seven to eight inches below your waist measurement. And that's exactly where we are here, right here. It's about seven and a half, right? So I'm gonna bend down for this to show you right here. And make sure that your measuring tape is parallel to the floor, because you're not gonna get accurate measurement if it goes like this or like wonky like this. So take your time with this. There's no need to rush. The pattern has a lot of markings and it may not seem like a good idea to write them down, but trust me, you'll want to. Why? Because if you're anything like me, you'll be collecting a lot of these patterns. And if you just have a bunch of these tracing sheets lying around, you won't know which pattern belonged where. So always write down the name of the pattern company, the pattern number, the size you're making, the seam allowance you're using, so we just finished tracing um, the front of our skirt and I went ahead and traced out the back, the, the casing, which is basically the elastic waist um, casing up top. We'll attach that here. And this is the, the cute little tie on top of the waistband. Now this one says you have to lay this on a fold. So put it like this with the edge of the pattern matching up with the fold of the fabric. We'll do the same thing for the skirt back and right here. I like to cut out as many pieces as I can before moving anything. So here I have all the pattern pieces cut out from a different fabric. And um, you'll notice that I used a different color for the tie. Um, the pattern said to cut four of the same uh, 
pattern from the same pattern I decided that I wanted a little more color to add some interest so I'm using this I cut two of this and two of this and um, all the notches are marked and we are ready to sew so I have my other side of the casing right here under the presser foot and um, remember those dots we saw in the pattern earlier I transferred them this is where the pattern says to stop sewing and start sewing right here so this little uh, gap right here it'll help us in um, putting the elastic through in the casing so it's that's why it's one of the reasons I told you to remember to mark the dots so you won't forget we'll stop at this point right here and we'll do a back stitch and we'll move it and put it at this dot So after finishing the seam allowances on both sides of the skirt, um, I went ahead and pressed the seams to one side. Um, and while I was there, I also measured up one and a quarter inch of hem and pressed that. So you'll see that in a minute. Now we're ready to um, assemble the last few pieces of the skirt. Remember the channel we created? The opening inside the casing? That's where you want to put the elastic from. And as you're threading the elastic, make sure that it doesn't twist. I just finished hemming my skirt and I'm giving it one final press before we're ready to wear it. Start to finish this project shouldn't take more than an hour. That's pretty darn cool, I think, for your first sewing project. Sewing doesn't need to be complicated or hard. If you wanted to learn to sew, I hope this cute little project has demonstrated that for you. And I hope you'll, this will just be the beginning for you and you'll be creating many more beautiful garments in the years to come. Thank you very much for joining me. And this and many other online sewing classes are right there on PatternReview.com for you to explore. Join the community, share your projects, and learn from each other. I'm Deepika for PatternReview.com. Mm -hmm.